Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? It is time to start our day, it is time to work and play. Hello everybody, how are you? Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are going to learn about something called landforms. Landforms are the different types of land that you see out in the world. You might see flat land, you might see high land, you might see land that goes down low. Those are some of the different things we're going to talk about. Let's take a picture at the four different major types of landforms. Now, I'll bet that you guys know one of those right away and you can tell me the name of it. Do you see the mountain in that picture? Mountains are a type of landform and we're going to come back and talk about those in a minute. Another kind are called the plains and that's where you find a lot of grass and very flat land. Those are the plains. Then we have canyons. Canyons are cool because they go down and you find rivers running through them. And then finally, we have something called a plateau. It's kind of like a mountain, but it's different at the same time. And we'll talk about that more in a moment. We are going to start off today by talking about the plains. Let's take a closer look at some plains. Like I said, plains are largely grass. They're flat land and they're grass. Now, all of our different landforms have different animals that you will find in them. So let's take a quick look at some animals that you would find in plains lands. You might find bison. Bison are very large animals, and we talked a little bit more about them when we were visiting North America. Now, there's a lot of plains land in North America. You won't find bison in all of the plains land, but you will see it somewhere. You might also see fox. They are kind of all over in the plains lands. And finally, we've got groundhogs, also known as woodchucks. That's another type. Now, there are many, 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 many more animals that you might find in the plains. These are just a few to take a quick look at. Okay, so we described the plains. We said that they're flat and grassy. So here are a couple of things that you can do today if you wanted to make some plans. First of all, of plains. First of all, if your grown-up has some grass seed and dirt, you can take a paper cut, cup, paper cup, put some dirt in there, put a little grass seed on there, and then watch to see what happens. Can you grow your own plains? Will your grass grow and you'll have your own plains inside your house? We're certainly not seeing a lot of grass outside right now with all the snow, but maybe you can grow some in your own house. If your grown-up doesn't have grass seed, if you're not going to be growing some, you can still make your own plains simply by grabbing a piece of green paper. Okay, if you have a piece of green paper, great, you can grab it. If you don't, any paper will do. If you have white, you can always paint it or color it green. To make my planes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors, and of course, I'm gonna put my thumb in the little hole. I'm gonna put two fingers on the bottom, thumb up on top, two fingers on the bottom. I'm gonna open the mouth and I'm gonna go chop, chop, chop. My steering wheel hand is holding my paper and I am going to turn myself this way actually and I'm going to cut up, ready? I am not gonna cut all the way up to the top. I'm gonna to stop about halfway, can you see that? I went about halfway. Now I'm gonna go over just a little to the side. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. Notice I am not going all the way through. I don't want to cut it all the way up. Chop, 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 chop. That'll be my last one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, scissors are stuck on my fingers. Now that I've got all of these, they're kind of like blades of grass, but to make them even look more like great blades of grass, I can do two things. I can take a pencil and I can roll this blade of grass around it. And then watch what happens when I take the pencil out, right? It's kind of curly and wavy. If I don't want to use the pencil, I can take my finger and I can roll the blade of glass, grass down. Yeah, maybe I want to roll this one backwards so they're not all looking the same direction. And I can go all the way across my grass. I can roll some, I can leave some straight, roll them one way, roll them another way, and I have some planes. Now, if you want to go even further, you can draw one of the animals we talked about Draw another animal that you might know of from the plains, maybe a skunk, something like that. You can print off and cut out some pictures to put on there. If you have some animal stickers, maybe you can put those in your plains. But this is one type of landform, and these are called the plains. Let's take a quick look at another type, the one that we all knew when we first looked at its picture. Which one of the plains has a really wide base and then slopes up on the side and comes to a point in a cone shape? and usually has snow at the top, that would be a mountain, wouldn't it? 
mountains rise up. They look like they're rising up out of the ground. Like I said, they have a very wide, sturdy base, and they go sloping up towards the top, and they kind of come up to a cone shape, kind of to a point at the top. Now, the reason that you often see snow at the top of a mountain is because as you get higher and higher and higher in the air, it gets colder and colder and colder. So instead of getting a lot of rain at the top of a mountain, they get more snow. And it usually can last all year long even and in the highest places on mountaintops. So let's take a look at some of the animals that you might find living on a mountain. Now I have kind of a fun story. I used to live by the mountains and the very first time that I was driving by myself on a highway through the mountains, I saw all of these cars pulled over and I thought, what's going on? So I took a peek and I'm off to the side of the highway just walking down the mountain was a family of mountain goats. There was a mommy, a daddy, and some children. And they were just walking down the mountain living their life. And it was very special. People stopped to see it. So mountain goats live on the on mountains. You can find those there. What else might you find there? You might find some cougars. Look at that. You might find some cougars. And even bears. You might find some bears if you go to the mountains. Mountains are a very interesting place to go visit. Okay. Now I want to show you something special. A certain type of mountain. volcano is a certain type of mountain. I have made a snow volcano and it's already kind of collapsing. I'm gonna get my hands cold and wet here. I'm gonna push back up here. I have taken a bottle and I have made a snow volcano around it. Now tell me, what do you know about volcanoes already? You can see this is like a mountain. Like I said, it's got the nice, let me lift it up a little bit here. Nice wide base all the way around and it comes up to a cone shape. But volcanoes are special because they don't just sit here. You don't just climb them and look at them and, and Think about the snow on top and the animals that live on them. Volcanoes have something, they do something called erupting. You want to make this one erupt and see what happens? In a real volcano, very hot lava comes out of the top. I'm not expecting hot lava to come out of mine, but let's see what comes out. I'm going to pour something special inside the top of my volcano. Oh, I hear something happening. Can you hear it? Oh, there we go. Check it out. My volcano has erupted and my lava is not hot. It is definitely red like lava and it's spewing out of the top. Let's see if we can make it go a little bit more. That is my snow volcano. And if you would like to make one later with your grown up, what I used was I had a bottle and I put some snow around it to make the volcano shape. Then I used baking soda and food coloring on the inside and this is vinegar. And when those two things mix together, that's when we get that fun explosion. So that is a type of mountain. And like I said, if you want to do that later, you don't need the volcano part. You can just make a mountain out of snow. You can just gather some snow together and see if you can form your own mountain. So we have talked about plains. We have talked about mountains. Let's scooch our volcano out of the way here a little bit. The next one we're going to talk about is called a canyon. Has anybody ever gotten to go visit the Grand Canyon in Arizona? That is a humongous canyon. It's wide, it's deep, and you can hike down into the inside. This is a picture of a canyon right here. This is what a canyon looks like. And you can see at the bottom, rivers can flow through the bottom of the canyon. In fact, that's how canyons are formed, something called erosion. Erosion happens when water, over time, it takes a very long time, when over time, water breaks away at the rock and it takes the rock off of the side of the wall and it pushes it away and it leaves that crevice, that canyon, in between two, um, two pieces of rock, basically, is what you're left with. I want to make a snow canyon with you guys. I don't have any rock. And I don't have a long time to wait for rain to come and erode it away. So instead, I thought maybe we could make a snow canyon together. Let's head out into my backyard and we'll make a snow canyon. You ready? Here we go. Okay, guys, we're in my backyard. You see, Let's see, there's Avery. We're in my backyard and there is just nothing but snow. Oh, here comes Avery. There is just nothing but snow out here. Let's see if we can take some of this tall, tall snow. Let me give you some perspective here. Let's see if you could tell. And let's see if we can make a snow canyon. You ready? I'm going to put some water because remember it's water that erodes. Let's see what happens. Oh, can you see what's happening? The water is eroding. Avery's curious. He says, look at that canyon. Look, I am making a canyon in the snow. It's a very deep canyon in this snow, isn't it? Can you see that? 
the water eroded the snow away just like it does the rocks and I made a canyon in my snow. So wasn't it pretty cool? Not only did we make a snow canyon, but you got to see Avery and she got to check it out too. All it took was a little bit of water and it eroded the snow, didn't it? It really just melted it, but it's the same idea. That's what happens. That's how canyons are formed is through something called erosion. Now, do you think there's animals in canyons? Of course there's animals in canyons. What kind of animals would you find? One thing that you would find there is called a bighorn sheep. Check this guy out. Why do you suppose he's called a bighorn sheep? What do you think? I think we can figure that one out. Let's take a look at him. You would also find something called a condor. That's a con condor. And interestingly enough, okay, we were up on top, way up high in the mountain. Now we're down low in the canyon. You can find mountain lions in a canyon. We didn't talk about mountain lions up on the mountain, although you'd probably see them there, but you can also find mountain lions down deep in a canyon. We have one more landform to talk about. Now this one is one that you might not be familiar with, but you might have seen them. You might have been on one. It's called a plateau. Let's take a look at this plateau. A plateau is a raised form of flat land. We had the mountain, which was raised land. And remember we said it came to a cone shape? Well, look at that, a plateau is a flat land. And I happen to have something here. Let me grab this, it's like a plateau. On the top, it's flat, but it has a steep drop off. It doesn't go down gradually like a mountain does. A mountain kind of goes down like this at an angle, but the plateau drops off quickly. That's the difference between a mountain and a plateau. Let's take a look at those, one of each, so you can see the difference between a mountain and a plateau. See how the mountain kind of comes up to a point like we talked about and it has the slope sides, but the plateau has a flat top and it has a very steep drop off. So you've got to be really careful. Now plateaus are neat because they are on every single continent. Anywhere you go, you can find a plateau, including under the ocean. There are plateaus under the ocean. There's one continent we have not been to yet that is mostly plateaus and that is Africa. Let me show you where Africa is. This orange continent here, that is Africa. And it is mostly plateaus. It is mostly, mostly flat land, but then when you get by the shore, a lot of it drops off. So what animals might you find on plateau? Well, there's this beautiful animal called a yak. They live on plateaus. And this little teeny tiny guy that I believe we talked about back in North America, he's called a pika. And then finally, there's also a woolly hare. Now a hare, anybody know what kind of animal hare is? It's like a bunny rabbit, isn't it? And if you take a good look at him, you'll see he's very much like a bunny rabbit, a woolly hare. So, I think we've about covered it. Those are the four different types of landforms. And today, you can go out and you can plant some grass and make your own planes. You can use a piece of paper to make your own plan, planes and then add animals. You can make a snow mountain or a snow volcano if you'd like. You can see mine is continually melting away here. You can make it outside or inside if that's okay with your grown-up. You can make a canyon. Again, snow is the best way to go because you get your, your results right away. You don't have to wait a long time. Make a canyon. Find some snow, pour some water in a straight line down and watch it just go down and make a canyon in there. And then finally, a plateau. Can you build a plateau? Maybe with Legos, with blocks, and other supplies that you have. It's gonna be flat on the top and it's gonna have a sharp drop off, remember. And then after you get your mountain, your plateau, your place, add some animals to it and have some fun. Bye guys, I'll see you next time.